Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Sangun An in Shofaram Seminary. This morning, we are going to learn about the Garden of Shechem, the Makom, found by Abraham at Shechem. It is from Genesis chapter 12, verse 6. Shechem was the first holy place, holy place, Makom, meaning standing place. This holy place recognized by Abraham, for there are big trees are standing and the altar stones, the monumental stones are standing together. Shechem, according to the ancient Hebrew, implies that the place where women must rise up, rise up in Hebrew, kum, early in the morning, to prepare worship the Lord. Okay. Jesus said, Dalita kum, when Jesus healed, the, the raised up the dead girl, Jesus pronounced kum, Dalita kum, kum means rise up, stand up, wake up. Uh, this is the meaning kum. Uh, Shechem, uh, kum are related to each other. And then makum also, makum. Shechem, kum, talita kum. All three words are connected to each other. The grammatical meaning of the verb shakam. Shechem comes from verb shakam. Shakam meaning get up, rise up early so make an early start according to bdb the hebrew lexicon but according to ancient picture letter it implies a little bit a little bit uh, more concrete nuance we are going to get so picture letter ancient picture letter shows something um, in detail okay uh, shakam shakam shin Kof, Mem, okay, three consonant is consist of sh Shechem, Shakam, okay, Shin, okay, picture letter. Well, what do you imagine from this picture? There's a woman breast, woman breast. He could be interpreted mother or wife. It depends on the context. Okay, Kof, the, the horizontal. There's a sun horizontal, okay? Sun going down, sun going up. That's the cough. Uh, cough, sunset and sunrise time is the time of daily worship in Old Testament. So you, you may interpret in two ways. Uh, time of sunset, when it's getting darker, or a time of worship in that way. Depends on the context. And the mem. There's a wave of water here, wave of deep well, mem, water, or if it is a verb, draw water. Okay? Now we are going to attempt to interpret shakam, number one, woman worshiper. Okay, contextually, it is woman, it is context of worship, so woman worshiper, shin, and sunset time, but it, but it should be interpreted worship time sunset or sunrise worship time and then uh, mem what woman usually do uh, rise up to draw water the mem i interpret to draw water woman get up woman get up earlier to draw water at the fountain at the spring water because uh, in every Holy site, every temple site, uh, somewhere near there, there is a spring, good spring water coming out. Okay, verse 2, uh, number 2, second interpretation. The nuance of Shechem uh, is where all worshippers must be alert to prepare worship. For example, there are many things to attend worship. You must draw water for cooking and then... Take a bath. You must wash your bath. You must wash your clothes before attending worship. So water, water for cleansing is very necessary before joining the worship. 
So washing clothes. So nuance of shaka means uh, worshippers are very busy. Okay, they must be worshippers must be up and around diligently from ahead of sunrise or sunset before the worship time. Okay, it's a sunrise, sunset. This is the time of daily burnt offering. So uh, the meaning of shakam, get up early, must be understood in the context of preparing worship uh, in worship time. Shakam. Okay, according to BDB, BDB, rise up early, make up early start. So get up. So the worshipers who attend that this temple area must be up and around. Okay, there is a great oak trees. Great oak trees are symbol of holy place. Genesis 12, 6. Okay. There were great oak trees of more in here. Joshua set up the stone of testimony here. Okay. Whatever holy stones is standing there. The famous terebin tree, some the Bibles translate terebin instead of oak tree. He, in Hebrew, Elon or Elah is a sure sign there is a spring water around them. Oak tree bear numerous number of fruits, is a nuts, acorn the oak acorn, which symbolizes fruitfulness of descendant of Abraham. The God told Abraham, look up the sky and the count the stars. If indeed you can uh, count them, then he said to him, so shall your offspring be so shall your offspring be. So, what should we imagine? What should we imagine? Okay, Shechem, there is a pastoral valley. The oak tree is remarkable for its wide spreading branches and its dark green foliage Abraham chose the place for a campsite. And then the place of Shechem, the word place, makom, standing place, is here used. The special sense of sacred place. Okay, according to what Bible said, some makom is a te uh, technical term or theological term referring to holy place, worship place. Okay, look at this picture. Very big, tall tree, and then the nuts, acorn of the oak tree. It symbolizes the circumcised descendant of Israelite. Genesis 12, 6, kum means to stand up, rise up, which is the root word of makom. Okay, just added Mem, the holy place of Shechem. So, Kam, Shechem, Makom, okay, Kum, they are all related together. All these words developed from the root verb Kum. In one sense, the verb Kum implies theological significance of holy place. Okay, pay attention in what sense the verb kum implies theological significance of holy place. Number one, there are two mountain tops. Okay, Shechem's located between Grisim mountain top and Ebal mountain top. Number of witness, number two is number of witness. Okay, almost every holy mountain is consist of two mountain tops. Standing upward to heaven. Number two. There are many stone tablets, monumental stone tablets, or covenant tablets, or the worshiping altar, piled up natural stones. These stones are standing upward to heaven. This is the significance. Number three, 
there are very big oak trees are standing upward to heaven because of the spring water. Uh, so well watered trees are growing tall. Okay, big tree grows on the mountain top. If when, whenever you look at big trees growing on the mountain top, this is a sign. This is a sign of somewhere near there is a spring water. Number four, stone altar is standing upward to heaven. Stone altar, look at the picture. In ancient time, if there are any standing stone, this is the sign of a worship place, a holy place. Okay. Uh, number five, spring water, fountain, is gushing upward to heaven. Every holy place has a fountain, okay? If, if there is no fountain of spring water, it cannot become a, a worship place. Because every worship place, people are gathered, they are camping, and they prepare to worship, they are cooking. So spring water must be there in semi-dry area. Uh, this is first standing stone in Tel Gezel in Israel, and the second, Tel Megiddo. In ancient times, they are all holy places. How does ancient Hebrew picture letter of Makom describe? Okay, Makom. The initial consonant Mem is the prefix that functions a present participle, ing in English, of the verb Kum. Kum and then you add mem, makum, we keep rising up. It signifies the present tense. It stands up, it rises up yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Ever present, standing up. This is a nuance. Kof, sunrise, sunset, okay. And then vav, tent back. What do you do? Uh, out of tent bed, it is used for pitching up tent. So it has also nuance. Stand up, pitch up a tent. Or connect. Okay, mem, water, wave. Okay, interpretation is this. At the sunset time, or at the worship time, pitch up a tent near the spring water. At the sunset time, Travelers, worshippers, they made a traveling schedule to arrive around sunset time or before sunset time to the destination. And this is the meaning of uh, kum. Okay, number two, at the sunset or sunrise, kof, she rose up, a worshipper, worshipping woman rose up for what? To draw water. That's the meaning of kum. And then three, what's, what could be the condition of holy place? There's another interpretation. Initial consonant, mem, uh, referring to water. Not grammatic function as a prefix, participle, but uh, it, could, it could be understood as mem, water. So, kum consists of... Uh, Makum consists of two mem, front mem and the rear mem. In between mem and mem, there's a sunset. So, the, where the two main elements, okay, sunshine and the water, the two main elements of life, both water and sun meet together. Sun shines over the spring water. Okay, two life elements make a tree grow tall. So, uh, this is the another attempt. Makum uh, could be interpreted as uh, much water, and in between much water is sunshine. This is a life element. They make the trees grow tall. Okay, uh, more. Uh, 
we we must try to understand more more oak tree why what's the meaning of more literally more means holy teacher prophet according to isaiah 9 15 or judges 7 1 who are the priest a religious leader more uh, in modern hebrew more means teacher Woman teacher Mora. Okay, Mora is derived from Ra'a. Hebrew word Ra'a, the to see. God sees uh, and perceive. As you see something, then you perceive, you understand it. The vision of God, Ra'a. Okay, this word was used seven times to depict the action of God's seeing of what he has created in Genesis chapter 1. Whatever God created, then God saw it, God, Ra'a, God saw it and perceived. I mean, this is a godly seeing. It is a reflect to human looking. Okay, therefore, if this word Ra'a is applied to human acts, it means that he sees, he sees as the one who sees. As the one who sees something as God, creator, sees and perceives, which is a prophetic scene. He sees, he sees uh, as God sees. Okay, he sees as God sees. It is describing prophetic scene. As, as human beings, the spiritual eyes are open, then he can see as God sees. Any moment, uh, the prophet sees and a vision that it is described as Ra'a. God made Abraham the more holy teacher who dwelt under the great oak tree. Abraham built up altar under the great oak tree. Genesis 12, 6 to 7. In this way, the original meaning of teacher, more was describing godly acts of holy teacher. Okay, the original meaning of more should be understood as godly teacher. Today, secular teacher also called more. We, 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 are, we are trying to understand original meaning in the Bible. May the Lord open your eyes wide so that you may see as God sees. Yeah, I wish you to see as God sees. Then you are prophet. Okay, theological nuance of great oak tree according to ancient Hebrew picture letter. Oak tree. Oak tree alone or alone. Alone, okay? Let me interpret the, from the word alone. Because frequently alone used as a synonymous for great tree. Okay? Alep, Lamet, He, Nun, okay? Alep Oxide. Symbol meaning Oxide is strong, power leader or powerful leader. Okay, and then second, Lamet, there's a, a symbol of staff, shepherd, staff. It means, depends on the context, shepherd or shepherd over people, then you are king. And it is applied to God Himself, the Lord. And then, He. Spirit of God, Theophany, the noon, fast moving things. Uh, the meaning of is uh, adjective meaning become alive. Or well, if it is the verb, move very fast. So uh, the oak tree alone may mean in this way number one, great God appeared making oak tree flourish okay uh, because why great god alle plus lamet it becomes l or al okay al this is the meaning of god l meaning of god god alle lamet god appears okay the through wind appears and they make the oak tree grow. 
grow fast. The number two, Holy Spirit like water is hair may be interpreted into holy water. It's Holy Spirit like uh, water. It is also life source. Holy Spirit like water, hair, okay, water, uh, and great God are make tree grow actively noon. So by watering, gas watering, this holy tree grow tall. Uh, this is the hidden nuance. So such places are understood as ideal dwelling place of God that makes both men and animals alive. So they are chosen to be a holy worship place by the holy man of God. Okay, look at this photo. This is a very tall oak tree. Oak tree can grow very tall. Uh, imagine on dry semi-desert area, how this oak tree can grow tall. It's a miracle of God. Okay. That's why ancient people uh, used to think that uh, by the hands of God. Okay. God made somewhere around here spring water. The spring water supplied, subterranean water supplied. Uh, this is the oak tree. Oak tree, the size of the root of oak tree, three times larger than the stalk and branches. So uh, we must imagine the root of oak tree rooted deep down more than 10 meters deep and spreading more than 30 meters wide. And this is what God can do. So symbol meaning oak tree, God gave this oak tree to have special ability to absorb much water, enough water, even dry desert area. This is what God can do. Huh? Mm. So that's why uh, people, be, whenever people, Asian people look at this great tree, they feel the almighty God, okay? The presence of the almighty God. So this kind of the big tree, uh, symbolizes worship place. And then what is important? While Abraham was sleeping during the night, the Lord, Yehovah, appeared to Abraham and gave him the word of blessing, word of the promise. So these kind of elements made the, this Shechem the holy place. Okay, Shechem reminds of God of Eden, the first Makom. Garden of Eden, we, we, we can express first Makom was Garden of Eden. Garden of Eden is a holy place. And Abraham passed through the land to the place Makom of Shechem. And then he reached to great tree of More. And he made this place, holy place, his dwelling place, and then God appeared to him. So completely this place became a holy place, a worshiping place. Okay. Let me introduce seven elements of holy place. Number one, two mountain tops located on two twin tops of Ebal and Grisim. Okay, it is originated from Ararat, Mountain Arad. Mountain Arad was a twin top mountain. Jerusalem and Jerusalem was there a twin top. Sion Mountain, Sion and the Mountain Olive. Hebron also has twin tops. Uh, what do you imagine? Number two, the number of witnesses, okay? Godly witness, whatever God does something great, okay? He, he does it between in, in front of two witnesses, okay? Number two, uh, green pastoral valley is looking beautiful. During rainy season, uh, this area covered all green color. It's an ideal, the shepherding place. So that's why God and the many kinds of animals were happy living there. Okay, number three, oasis. There is, should be an oasis, spring water in Shechem. Okay, in the God of the there was a spring water gushing out, become the source for, for great river. Okay, so in, in ancient time, uh, the Shechem area was the most beautiful spot 
in central Palestine. Number four, big trees, great trees of more, oak trees of more that has remarkable beauty and luxurious, luxurious, looking luxurious. Number five, natural altar built by natural stones to worship the Lord. This is uh, number fifth uh, element of holy place. Number six, okay, God manifested himself to Abraham in Shechem. This is most important factor. Even though all natural condition is very good, ideal, but if God does not appear there, it cannot become a holy place. God appeared to Abraham here in Shechem. Number seven, there should be an ordained prophet. Adam, Abraham, should be placed there. Abraham recognized the uh, sanctity of the place and stationed there. Okay, anointed man, okay, a man of God must be there. Wherever a man of God is, is then there is holy place, okay? I wish you to be a man of God, anointed man of God, the Christian who is filled with Holy Spirit, then, then wherever you are, that becomes holy place. Because of you, because of God's appearance. Okay, your dwelling place, your working place becomes holy place. Oh, this is a mountain, Grisim and Ebal. Okay, this one, Ebal, the other side, Grisim, in between two mountain top. There's a second located. Shechem, once again, according to ancient Hebrew, implies that the place where women must rise up kum early in the morning to prepare and worship the Lord. Okay, the grammatical meaning of Shechem, get up, rise up, but according to ancient picture letter, it implies a little bit more concrete nuance. Woman, shin, and cough, worshiping time. Ma'am, water. So attempt to interpret. Number one, woman worshippers at worshiping time rise up early for what? To draw water. This is the meaning of Shechem. Number two, the nuance of Shechem is where all worshippers must be alert to prepare worship. Drawing water, cooking, taking a bath. They must be up and around diligently from ahead of sunrise before the sunset. Okay, look at the photo. This is a Shechem, ancient, the ruins Shechem. In the, in the middle of uh, this ancient ruins, uh, there's a standing stone. It is called sacred standing stone. Okay, can you see and this overall view? Uh, this part, uh, Mountain Ebal, the right side, Mountain Grisim, in between, uh, there is a Shiloh holy place, first temple site, and then Bethel, Shechem. So, every seven element of holy place is are, are gathered together around here. Oh, this is the end of our class today. God bless you. I wish you to have the holy vision to grow in Jesus, to become a tall tree, tall oak tree, fruitful tree. Okay? And then imagine every night God appears to you. Okay? And then at this pandemic season, um, because of God's presence with you, then you are very okay. You keep prosperous. You keep preaching gospel to bless the surrounding people. With the blessing of Shechem, with the blessing of Makom, with the blessing of the Abraham. In Jesus' name, amen.